Hello guys, welcome to Easy Exposure. One of my subscribers asked me how do I create a frame or border around my image. So I decided to do a tutorial where I show you how to do it in Photoshop. So today I will show you it in three steps. Uh, who watched my previous tutorials about how to add watermark to your image? I will be doing the same steps as I did with watermark. I will show you how to add the a border or frame to a single image, how to create an action so you can add the, the border to any image and how to create an action um, which will add the border to multiple images. So let's get started. show you how to create just a basic uh, uh, frame, white frame with a thin uh, black edge around the image. So to create this frame, uh, I have this image right here and this image is already resized to go on the web. I resized it to um, 800 pixels in width and 72 pixels per inch resolution and I have another video where I I showed you how to resize your images either in Lightroom or Photoshop. And to create the frame around this image, we go to Image, Canvas Size, and we will be just enlarging this canvas. And we will click Relative and just add five extra pixels in width and five extra pixels in height. But you can play with it, you can make a border thinner or thicker, it's all up to you. And here I have chosen black because I have I want a thin white border to be added to the image. And I click OK. And as you can see, thin black border was added to the image. Then I go to the image, canvas size again, and this time I will add thicker white border around the image and I have relative check remember and I will add probably let's say 40 pixels in width and extra 40 pixels in height and here you can change the color I'll change it to white but you also have a choice if you click on others you have a choice of different colors but I'm not a big fan of uh, like bright colors around the image I prefer either kind of pastel frames uh, either white or black uh, some images look better with a white frame some images look better with a black frame so that's all up to you so we will add the white border okay we added extra 40 pixels in width, 40 pixels in height, and we'll click OK. And as you can see, we created the white border. But I also like to add more border on the bottom, so I can put my logo in that. So to create the wider border on the bottom, we go again to the canvas size, and this time we want to enlarge our image only in height and probably around 30 pixels will be enough but if we add 30 pixels in height like this our image will be enlarged evenly from top and evenly from bottom so we're gonna get extra 15 pixels at the top and 15 pixels at the bottom but we want to add pixels only at the bottom and to do this we have to click this off so if we click this off it means see the arrow shows down it means that image will be enlarged only from the bottom if we would click this for example this means image will be enlarged from the top but that's not what we want we want to add extra border on the bottom only and make sure you have chosen white and click OK and as you can see we added some extra border at the bottom of the image and if you want, you can also add some logo to it. And I showed you in my previous video how to add the logos, but let's add to this one just a simple one. Just type easy. Extra. 
exposure. This is just an example. That. Okay. And here you have it. We added the white border to our image. Now I will show you how to create the action. I record the action of creating the border so you can add the border to any image you like with just one click. So first of all we need to make sure that our window with actions is open. So go to window and make sure that this is checked and our action window will show up and you can place it let's say right here making a little space and uh, you can create the folder with your border uh, actions. You can create different borders, uh, different frames, uh, which can be black or white, different colors, different width. So we will create the special folder for frames. I already have a border folder, so I will call this folder just frames. Click OK. And then when we have the frames highlighted, we click on this icon which looks like a piece of paper and we will create a new action and we call it white frame and click record and from this moment your action will be recording and now we just have to really quick to re repeat all the steps we did in when we were creating the frame so we go to canvas size and let's see click on Five, five. Make sure it's black. And okay, and the black border is created. Let's go to our layer panel, and then um, click on image canvas size again, and we add forty from each side, and choose white. Okay. Then again, then we add thirty from the bottom, and we can even. If you like, you can record separate actions for creating the borders and separate actions uh, of creating the logo, like I showed you in the last image, or you can create one action for both. So let's create just one action for both. Let's just add EO, easy, exposure. All right. And uh, if you are done, just click this square. It means that uh, it will stop recording your action. So your action is recorded right here in the white frames. And as you can see, all the steps you did are recorded into this action. So for example, if we open a new image and we click on this action and we click the play button, it will just add the border to the image automatically and you don't have to go through all the steps over and over again. Now I will show you how to um, create frames for multiple uh, images at the same time so you don't have to do it for each image separately. Before you do that you want to create two folders one folder with your resized images and you want your images to be the same size and you want to have horizontal images separately from the vertical images the same as we did for watermark in my previous video and the other folder is will be our destination folder where all framed images will go so I call this folder framed images so first we will open one of the images from the folder one of the resized images of course and we will start to create our action so we click on our um, kind of piece of paper in here a piece of paper icon and we will call this action white frame and I will call it multiple But you can call it whatever you want. So for me it means I add this to a multiple images. And I click record. 
Of course, we will go through the same steps over again. Real quick. Oh, this was fine. Actually. Then OK. Then we will go with 40. This white border. I'm just showing you this border just to go through this quick, but of course you can create different colors. Okay, 30 from the bottom, then I add the logo. Right there. And after this, we have to save the image. Before we save the image, it's good to flatter the layers. So you choose those both layers and then you go down and click on merge layers and then file, save as and we have an option right here and let's see and we choose the recite images folder oh, there's no recite, frame images folder the destination folder where your images will go and you click JPEG and then you save and you can choose quality whichever you like and I click OK and then we stop the action so we recorded the whole action which will open our images and save our images and we can probably cl close this image and then we go to file, automate and batch and then we choose set of images as frame white frame but we will choose white frame multiple because the white frame is was the action we used before and then we will choose our folder uh, our source folder which is resized images folder so we choose that right here you can see and then which is our destination. And make sure here you click on folder, then it will give you an option to choose. And then we will choose framed images folder. And if you want to change the name, you can change the name right here, but I wouldn't do it. So we're pretty much done. And then we just click, I will leave everything unchecked right here and click OK. And then I, our images just would open automatically. And voila, all images resized. I just had a three images in that folder, so it took fast. But if you have more images, it would probably take longer. And then let's see. All our frame images are in this folder. Ta-da! How fast was that? I hope you enjoyed watching the lesson and learned something new today. And I see you next time.